April 10th. Moral Decision About Sin Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. Romans 6, 6. Co-crucifixion. Have I made this decision about sin, that it might be killed right out in me? It takes a long time to come to a moral decision about sin, but it is the great moment in my life when I do decide that just as Christ died for the sin of the world, so sin must die out in me, not be curbed or suppressed or counteracted, but crucified. No one can bring anyone else to this decision. We may be earnestly convinced and religiously convinced, but what we need to do is come to the decision which Paul forces here. Hold yourself up. Take a time alone with God. Make the mortal decision and say, Lord, identify me with thy death until I know that sin is dead in me. Make the moral decision that sin in you must be put to death. It was not a divine anticipation on the part of Paul, but a very radical and definite experience. Am I prepared to let the Spirit of God search me until I know what the disposition of sin is, the thing that lusts against the Spirit of God in me? If so, then will I agree with God's verdict on that disposition of sin, that it should be identified with the death of Jesus? I cannot reckon myself dead indeed unto sin, unless I have been through this radical issue of will before God. Have I entered into the glorious privilege of being crucified with Christ until all that is left is the life of Christ in my flesh and blood? I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me.